Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy S4. This should work on most of the versions, uh, and this is using the Moto Chopper method. Okay, first thing you need to do if you're using Windows is click here to download the USB drivers. Uh, save this to your computer, double click them to install them. Then head over to your device, pull down the notification bar, tap on the little gear to get to settings tap on more, scroll all the way down to about device, then you're going to scroll down to build number and keep tapping it until it tells you that you are a developer, then you hit back, and we're going to click developer options now that appeared, USB debugging we're going to turn on, hit OK, and then plug your device in via USB, then scroll down on our site and click on the Moto Chopper link. This will bring you to the developer's page. Um, all credit for this program obviously goes to this developer, so if you feel like this procedure helped you in any way, please thank the developer here or donate to them using their PayPal link here. Um, but right now, we're gonna download the exploit by clicking on that and saving that to our desktop. Okay, after it's done downloading, you're gonna just double click it um, or right click and hit extract uh, if you're using Windows. Then you're going to see inside of this folder a bunch of different things. If you are using Windows, you're going to just double click run.bat. And if you're using Mac, like I am here, we're going to open up terminal. You're going to cd to Moto Chopper. Excuse me, CD to desktop first, then CD Moto Chopper, then dot slash run dot sh, and hit enter. And it'll tell you, then you just follow the steps, whether you're using Windows or a Mac, uh, basically just follow the steps that it prompts you to do. Then on the device, it's going to allow, ask you to allow USB debugging. Click OK. And then back on your desktop, wait for it to finish. Once it says exploit complete, just hit enter to reboot and exit. And wait for your device to reboot. Once the device reboots, open your app drawer. And you should now see super user as one of your listed apps. That's how you know it worked. Uh, after this, you can head to our other videos that are linked beneath this to start removing bloatware, load a custom recovery image, uh, start loading custom ROMs, remove TouchWiz, and a whole bunch of other things that rooting now allows.